the number one thing you should do is call the members of the media by their first name and remember that. So first, follow that account. It's really good uh, if you like sports. He's got really great stories. Uh, but this is a really good point about remembering people's names and talking to them. So now, like, Doug Lombardi, uh, the, the the guy who did all the PR marketing stuff at first at Valve when I got there, uh, is amazing at it. He can remember everybody's names. He is just, like, blah, like a genius at it. Uh, he'd like, be like, oh, we met 17 years ago. You were sitting three tables over. He just remembers. He has little little tricks. And the little tricks don't work for me, right? Like, I'm Chet Cleveland. Other people's jersey, like it'll just call them by their location. He, really good, really good. I can't do that. But also people think I'm a goofball. And I am a goofball. I enjoy the good joke. Uh, and I'll go for that all the time. But when I was doing press for the second time for the European uh, of kind of announcement of Love for Dead, the original Love for Dead, I felt really bad that I have a different relationship to the press than a lot of game developers because I was in the press. I've written articles. I've written guides. I've done all those kind of things, right? And so a lot of those people know me really well but I don't know them as well. And I especially don't know their faces. So one time, one of the people who I think just dismissed me as a goofball at Valve walked in and he's like, what are you doing? You have like print out like flashcards of dudes. I'm like, oh, this is the European press. I'm trying to remember their name. The only way I can do it is by doing flashcard testing. Um, and I'm not being fake. I like these people. I appreciate these people, but man, I cannot remember their name. And this is the only way to do it. This is grunt work, right? And to this day, I can still remember. If I see Tim Edwards, I'm like, hey, right? You know, and then, then Tom Francis, now he's a game developer, right? And, like, all of that comes from that. But, like, that wasn't me being fake. That wasn't me being dishonest. That was just miss me having a problem and overcoming it by the simplest brute force, and that was flashcards. And so if you're going to do, be doing press, if you're going to be talking to the press for your game, now I'm in a different place in my life. I'm a little bit more antagonistic towards the press. There's some press I outwardly don't like. I paid for that. Um, but that's okay, like, because I just don't care anymore. Uh, but if you're starting to get up and going and just trying to start out um, knowing who the press is, knowing if you're an indie mega booth or whatever, and the press walks by and you can be like, hey, hey, you know, Dave, and they know who you are and then they'll know, they'll learn, right? So or they don't know who you are, but they'll learn because you're being human to them, right? People like to be human and feel like they're with humans and friends. And so, you know, especially I think the British press, I just started hanging out with and became friends with and, and honestly friends with a bunch of those guys. Uh, and Yeah. So that's one way to do it, is just do it. And also, yeah, I just said dudes a lot. Um, and while it's way more diverse now and who covers games, uh, when I first started out, uh, it was it was it was a little more dire.